Hi everybody, this is Tony over here at Big Dogs Porting, and today we have a small block Ford Trick Flow Specialty Box R Intake Manifold. Now this manifold um, is a customer's manifold that was sent in to us to perform our Stage 2 porting. And there's not any videos out there that pretty much shows what this trick flow box R manifold flows both together. Now you have some literature as far as you can what you can read up on and things of that nature, but haven't really found anybody that pretty much did a all together flow comparison. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're going to strap this manifold to the flow bench and we're going to flow it and see what it does we're going to pause it strap it up so we have it bolted up right here um we have we have this runner bolted up and we have the flow bench set up. So what we're gonna do is cut it on and see what we have. So you're looking at about 200, about 289, 290 CFL. Yes, so that's bolted together. If you can see, the runner that we're testing is one of the straight runners. This is a 90 millimeter opening, throttle body opening, and everything is pretty much taped off. So this is a bolted together, real world flow. So, here you have this flow result of this manifold. And what we're gonna do, we're going to do some comparison testing um, before we actually um, port this manifold. And um, we're gonna see what this manifold does compared to um, one of our options, our new options for 2024. Um, it's a Explorer style GT40 manifold. It's, it's going to have a 90 millimeter throttle body tunnel. Um, it also is going to have a runner length that is pretty much the same as this box R right here um, in the 8.2 deck, the 302 version of the box R, the runner lengths are about nine inches. Um, in the 5.8 uh, versions, they're about 10 inches. So our, our new manifold option for the Explorer GC40 style manifold um, it's going to have a runner length similar to those. Um, it's going to have uh, more average runner flow, but you know, compared to the box R. Um, it's going to be available um, at the beginning of this year, 2024. And we have a treat for you guys. Uh, we're actually going to have one of our customers dyno testing. Uh, now this customer, Don, 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 you know, um, he recently dyno tested one of our stage three tubular GT40 manifolds. Now, you guys know the tubular um, was first available on the Ford Lightning pickup trucks. 
then you know Ford uh, made them available for purchase as a performance upgrade for your your 302 based motors now we all know that the tubular is a long runner intake manifold okay um, it's a long runner intake manifold and you can't really shorten the runners up on it unless you actually cut the runners and reweld them. Now we did that twice, okay? We have one in-house that we own. It's a short runner tubular. And we also did one for um, a customer, okay? Um, it's a lot of work involved in, 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 in cutting those manifolds, those tubulars, um, the upper and trying to, you know, re-weld them because you all know the tubulars, they're very, very thin. So it, it took some work and we did not offer that as a, a production port option because it was just too, too much work involved, you know, and, and it's too much work involved. And we're already super busy. Um, but Don, he he has a built 408, 408 um, um, some nice heads, I think it's 225 heads, a nice comp cam. Um, it's in a Fox body. Uh, I believe he has a TKX transmission. Um, good headers. And in the next video, we're going to actually show video of his vehicle being dyno tested with that stage three tubular and also we're going to show you guys the dyno results okay now remember the tubular that he has is stage three um, but it's still the long runner so when you couple the the tubular upper with a three 51 GT40 lower the runner length you know goes from 15 like 15 inches to like 16 a little over 16 inches long and that's the actual manifold that's not the complete intake track because if you want to you know um, if you want to add the complete intake track then you got about six inches of cylinder head um, intake runner that you can also add but that was about 16 inches long. So that's geared towards, you know, low to mid range power. Um, and that's what that tubular was originally designed for, uh, the Lightning, the Lightning trucks, um, low to mid range power, you know, right around 4,500, 5,000 RPM. Uh, and that was basically a 351 base. When you start getting to the 408s, you know, the, 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 the 393s, more cubes is going to generally peak earlier with the longer runner. So as the cubes go up, the longer runner makes the peak RPM horsepower a little lower. But all I can say is his results were great. Okay, it was great. Um, um, he says that um, nobody can keep up with him uh, on the street and on the expressway uh, as far as his, his running wise. He said he's um, just leave, quote unquote, he said he's leaving cats. <laughs> so that's going to be um, something that we're going to show you guys in the next video. We're actually going to, like I said, do the comparison video between this and our. Um, stage 3 90 millimeter it's called the BRD manifold in the next video we'll let you guys know what the BRD stands stands for okay so this is Tony right here this is actually New Year's Day I'm at the shop doing this video for you guys um, things are looking a lot better at the shop as far as getting orders out we have a lot of orders that's going to be going to you know UPS um, tomorrow so really appreciate you guys being patient with us um, like I said all of the work that we do here is pretty much done by hand 
um, and it's very detailed and time consuming, especially to make sure you guys are getting your 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 parts back correctly, you know, without any issues and without any mishaps. So once again, it's Big Dogs here. See you guys.